fuse fuse second end this point is NTC NTC second side we should find this voltage if any point we have disconnection we will not find the voltage there Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu welcome to Haseeb Electronics friends this week I visited a uh, here city nearby to my project while I was walking through a scrap market in electronics for searching something so I found this very unique modular power supply when I saw its design its finishing it was thrown in garbage in scrap so I asked the person the who guy who was dealing this uh, scrap I asked him how much will it cost he said it is one JD one dinar one Jordanian dinar so I purchase it it's about we can say one and a half about one and a half dollars nothing so I loved to share the design details maybe sometime you have some similar power supply or the same might be our this tutorial will helpful for you if it is helpful for you remember me and your prayers let's start first of all when I opened this I thought it was might be it is dead or damaged I was just trying to see the design but when I opened it I see here it's sparking here was a sparking where in this area this terminal was sparking and someone who installed this power supply He installed only one wire because here it is line line neutral neutral and earth so it was connected just only one wire so earth is here neutral neutral and line so neutral was connected in one line it makes sparking when sparking it's removed and thrown away so let's see the design I loved this design it is very beautiful and a perfect design and if we see its design parameters its input and output its input is 200 to 240 volt 4 ampere maximum 50 to 60 hertz but when you will see the output 4.2 volt 60 ampere 4.2 volt 60 ampere very high amount of current and we can see 4.2 volt so let's see the design and then today we will make evaluation just only introduction and in next video we will discuss the complete design today we will just take an idea of this power supply how it is working and we will apply power and we will see the status this line these two lines these two lines are here it is 16.3 ampere fuse and after fuse this fuse is here and if we see here here is a capacitor for noise removal and if we come here from here to here here is a relay but relay not installed so current have to pass from here to here what is here here is 15 ohm NTC 5D15 15 ohm resistor NTC resistor and neutral is here 
so line and neutral in the parallel there is a voltage arrestor after NTC this line is coming here here we have here we have this capacitor so voltage arrestor is not installed here MOV so MOV is not available so here MOV if it, it was installed it was more good but what we can say then here is a capacitor and after that if you come here 1.2 point for dual line filter here to here here to here and then we have other two capacitors for noise one for AC noise and second for the DC noise in the output of the bridge so both AC lines line and neutral are in the center point of the bridge after that we we are taking the output from the bridge negative line is coming to this capacitor this capacitor negative line and same time it is connected to this capacitor negative so both capacitor are in parallel and if we look positive positive is here and the same time it is connected to second capacitor so both capacitor are in parallel to take more current so how is the circuit Two hundred twenty volt fuse fuses sixteen point three volt ampere two hundred twenty volt two hundred fifty volt then NTC 5D 15 yes 5D 15 then here should be MOV MOV is not installed here then we have capacitor then we have inductor positive negative to the bridge and then we have two capacitors positive negative So it is our filter and protection circuit. Here we have filter and protection circuit. And SLF 18 and 50 C. It is using SLF 18 and 50 C. Two MOSFETs. If you look here, here it is using NCP1252 that is current mod PWM controller for forward and flyback applications. So here it is using NCP and if you see this IC it uses feedback boost CS RT SS VCC drive and ground optocoupler will be connected to pin number 1 and then there is a, a resistor and capacitor network to pin number 2 there is a capacitor pin number 4 is RT for frequency pin number 5 ground pin number 6 is connected to MOSFET VCC from this positive connector positive end we have some resistors here so these SMD resistors are in parallel 224 220k parallel parallel series 220 220 220 then it is connected here to pin number 7 
pin number 7 is VCC and it is connected to this VCC capacitor here is VCC capacitor so these voltage are soft start voltage in initial stage it will take voltage from this pin and then there is a here it is frequency selection resistor in the last pin this one R30 it will drive our transistor where is the transistor here is this transistor throw this resistor so pin number 5 is drive so pin number 5 is here and the other end of this diode is connected to base of this Q, Q2 so here is a resistor and this transistor will drive a transformer and it will give output here we have pulse farming network pulse farming network these voltage will drive two MOSFETs where is the pulse forming network for both channels the transformer will take input but out of phase outputs from here and here these outputs are one channel is here this will make a pulse form and here it will form a new pulse and this pulse will go to the first MOSFET here and this signal this drive signal from here from this point it will reach to the second MOSFET and in the output it will re rectify capacitors and it will give feedback yes here are two resistors for current sense these are applied here so here is current sense resistor it is sensing from this point from this capacitor and it is going back current sense now I will apply power if you don't have a good knowledge about electrical systems and how to deal with power electronics kindly never do experiment never attempt to any repair and when you connect power never touch to a hot side here it is hot side from transformer to left side it is hot side never touch any component and always use isolation transformer and use series lamp how we can test it here it is 230 volt come to inside of the fuse 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 second end this point is NTC NTC second side we should find this voltage if any point we have disconnection we will not find the voltage there then this line is coming here across the capacitor inductor because this is parallel line, parallel line after inductor we are finding voltage here and this is input of the bridge rectifier here we found this voltage if these voltage are not available we have to check this circuit then set multimeter to DC you can check here 230 volt 
सॉरी 330 वोल्ट 324 वोल्ट सो दिस आर प्रोवाइडेड टू दिस कैपेसिटर्स सो बोथ कैपेसिटर्स आर इन पैरेलल सो वी विल फाइंड द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस बोथ कैपेसिटर्स देन कलेक्ट वन लीड टू ग्राउंड लाइन एंड here it is ground line and check the output of these resistors check out uh, check voltage at vcc capacitor here is vcc capacitor this one small one vcc capacitor so check voltage across vcc capacitor put one lead here and set check voltage at pin number 7 of this ic so we have voltage so then we can check the feedback here it is 0.6 volt if here are more than 0.6 volt that time our power supply will not work now we can check here So here we have 1 volt. That means if we have 1 volt here, it means the power supply is working. Let's check the output. Wonderful. It has 4.3 volt and this power supply is good. So here it is a feedback network. Here is operational amplifier and voltage comparator. It is checking and monitoring the output. Here is TL431. 2.4 volt 3 volt so ground and reference 2.4 volt 2.49 2.5 volt so these are diodes 1 2 3 4 four diodes in both sections after that there is a filter and we have capacitors here in the output 1 2 3 4 and here is level adjustment RW1 it is 4.31 volt we can adjust the output oh wonderful 4.2 volt ok now we can check the frequency at which rate it is switching 50 kilohertz so here it is switching 50 kilohertz 28 volt AC it is switching at 28 volt AC so it is 60 ampere very nice design and today we made a review of this power supply in next video I will share a complete design details of this power supply so maybe it will helpful for someone these diodes are protection diodes 1 and 2 for both MOSFETs 18 N50 18 ampere 500 volt MOSFETs are used here so here is optocoupler so friends if this video is good for you you can like subscribe and share if you want it's up to you thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh